Welcome to Pico Neo 3 Link Unboxing and Setup Guide video. When you open the box, you will find the following items. For the best experience, make sure the headset battery is fully charged before using it for the first time. Charge it with the AC adapter and data cable until the headset indicator turns green. Controller setup and button descriptions. When using the controller for the first time, remove the insulating pad to turn it on. If it's your first time using it, press the home button off the controller to turn it on. Then hold the headset's power button for two seconds to turn the headset on as well. Wear your headset correctly for a safe and comfortable experience. Take out the Pico Neo 3 link and remove the optical lens protective film. When wearing, turn the knob counterclockwise first to leave enough space for your head. Then cover your face or glasses with the headset and cradle the base of your head with the head pad at the back. Next, adjust the side straps until the picture is clear for you. Finally, tighten the top strap by turning the knob clockwise. A word of caution, do not place the optical lens under strong light. Exposing the lens to sunlight or UV rays can cause permanent macular degeneration on the screen. Setting up the play area. When using the device for the first time, you need to set up a play area before entering the home screen. To reset the play area, go to play area in the status bar at the bottom of the home screen. Before the setup, clear all obstacles around you. If you are in a complex environment, choose Custom Mode. The first step is to set the height of the floor. If the grid on the screen does not match the actual ground height, follow the prompt instructions and touch the ground gently with the controller. Then pull the trigger to lock the grid at floor level and hit Next. Then, follow the instructions on the page to define the play area. Remove any obstacles in the play area to avoid colliding with them while you are in the game. If you are in a simple environment, choose Quick Mode. Select the standing or sitting position and decide a boundary that is safe and suitable. Check whether the ground height is correct. A virtual ground will then be created for you to start your VR journey. 